Hi. Um, <clears throat> so, I uh, just got to, to Judo yesterday and I thought I'd uh, take this opportunity to explain a little bit as to uh, what we're doing up here on the, on the plateau and, um, and also, well, I'll take the opportunity also to show you, to show you all the wool that we've bought. So, this is, um, this is the wool that we've bought in the 2012 collection season which will effectively go into the, the core of garments in 2013. Um, this room is actually uh, uh, Timothy Rabding. Uh, Rabding is a, his English name is Timothy. Anyway, his his dad is a Tibetan doctor. This is his clinic room, and we've just taken up you know a side of it to um, to store a lot of the wool. Um, and you see, there's all his uh, there's all his his medicine. So he might he might come in at any point. But anyway, uh, that's fine. Um, so I just wanted to, to explain a little bit uh, what, uh, what how we collected this wool. So so we organised with Kigawa to to buy the wool from all of their members. We felt it was important to buy all of the wool. So so we didn't want to turn anyone away. Um, that meant that we bought wool from forty eight different families. Um, we agreed and we set a price. Uh, having referred to what was being what the price was, the average price was in town, we decided to put ourselves in, in between uh, the cheapest and the most expensive price, and uh, and we decided that we'd fix that and it wouldn't waver throughout the buying period. What you tend to see is that the price goes up and down, especially where well, it starts off low and then it ends up high and then it goes goes low again, depending on the traders and how close they are to fitting the, the particular lorry that they you know that, that stores all of their all of the wool. We wanted to give security, so we just set one price, and we found that that was well, at least that the the Kagawa members were very um, appreciative of that, and they they all came and uh, and sold their sold their wool. Um, so so that that's what happened. It took about six well six six to eight weeks, uh, all in all, for for all of the wool to to arrive. Um, we had a Kagawa member, a guy called uh, Drugu. And uh, another guy who was his assistant to manage that uh, collection process. Um, each of these bags behind has been uh, tagged, uh, the name of the person who who was bought uh, from, and uh, and each one also has uh, you know how much wool is is on it. So we know exactly down to the the nearest jin. Uh, that's actually a Chinese word for the uh, half kilo. So we know down to the half jin, uh, rather down to the jin, how many how many uh, how much wool we have. Um, uh, as part of that uh, agreement with Kagawa, what we've also done is. Uh, We've uh, remunerated Kagawa themselves for for managing the whole process. So at least they have a financial incentive to you know to partner partner with Cora. Um, we've paid the two salaries of of uh, Drugu and and his assistant, and and we've also at least on this trip just now I've I've gone and uh, uh, provided the what we're calling a stipend um, for for the wool that was bought. So that stipend is uh, works out as about ten percent of of the wool that uh, of the of the price of the wool. So um, yeah, the the wool was bought for 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 a certain for 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 a certain amount. We've gone and uh, created what we're calling a stipend, which w would mean that uh, they don't they, the the locals will be able to come back in and then according to say they've sold fifty. Um, 50 kilos, uh, they'll get the stipend according to that 50 kilos. Uh, X amount per kilo will be will be their their stipend. So it's it's a it's a bonus uh, for them on top of the price that we've already paid. Um, so that that's one way. Well, it's our first step to to really trying to create a, a fair. I guess a fair trade product. Um, it's very difficult to get fair trade certification, so I'm not realistically going to be able to achieve that uh, at this point, and and even realistically in China as well, it's it's very hard um, to to get that. There's a there's a lot of, of criteria that we couldn't couldn't reach. Um, but you know, this is this is a uh, this is one way of doing it, and it's a tangible benefit that we can bring. Uh, even at this early early point, so it's a start. It's a small, really a small, uh, a small benefit, but 
but at least it's uh, it's something, and it's something that we'd we'd look to repeat every year. So we'd like to uh, at least we see it as a as a means of creating a, a stable uh, partnership with these these local communities, so that they know that next year we will be back and we will be buying at this uh, at a at a decent price, and then also they'll get this additional additional stipend um, as a reward for for their for their um, uh, for their trust in in us as buyers. Um, okay, so I think that about wraps it up.